Kami dulu Minister of Transport Yang berhormat Mr. Anthony Dr. Sifu Honor Guest Datuk-Datuk Friends Colleagues And uh, Fellow Practitioners Of uh, the aviation industry On behalf of MAPAM On behalf Of Malaysia Welcome to Kuala Lumpur What we have planned is uh, three days of fellowship and learning. We've got distinguished speakers who are subject matter experts in their field uh, who are here to share with their knowledge and experience with the wide scope of people we have in this room. We do not only have pilots here, we've got people from a uh, whole range throughout the aviation industry. What I'd like you to do is uh, be like a sponge and absorb and uh, enjoy yourself, learn as much as you can and from here onwards we need to collaborate to make and take the aviation industry in this country uh, to a higher level. Uh, with that, I thank you for your presence and I wish you a pleasant conference. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly, uh, President uh, Captain Farrow. And, uh, <coughs> and now we call upon um, the Deputy President of IFALPA, Captain Ben to deliver his address. Pleasure to be with you here today in a very important and timely regional meeting of the Far Far Bishop as we do in KL. Regional meeting in Kuala Lumpur was my first ever Far Far meeting 150 years ago, and it's a special place in my heart. And it's very good to come back here again as a deputy president of the Far Far. As we all know that the growth in aviation in Asia and Pacific region is very rapid. Early this year, the Minister, Minister of Civil Aviation in Asia Pac met in Beijing and they declared what we call the Beijing Declaration, which set a very challenge goal to accomplish full commitment. First is on aviation safety. Second is on air navigation service. Accident investigation, the last but not least, is human resources development. And I can see that to all of you here, as I thought, uh, we have all of the four area expertise. I would like to echo what Captain Farouk just said about collaboration. We, as a pilot, we have a, what we, also, we always say, I thought I have a very unique perspective. Working with MAPA doesn't mean working with only a thousand Malaysian pilots, but it's also mean working with a hundred thousand pilots all around the world from different cultures, various type of operation, political situation, and environment. So then again, to, to be able to achieve the full commitment of building the creation, I encourage all of you here to absorb and learn, and most importantly, collaborate based on transparency 
a consistent communication with my wife and Papa. And I wish you all a very successful conference. Uh, Captain Ben. And uh, next we have the IPAUPA Executive Vice President, uh, Asia Pacific, Captain Ishtiak Hussein, to say a few words. For transport, uh, Mr. Anthony Lok, if I have Deputy President Captain Ben Hansu Chai, officials of Malaysian Airlines, representative from IATA, IFATCA, APA, my fellow delegates from Asia Pacific region, ladies and gentlemen, Salamat Pagi and good morning. It gives me great pleasure to extend to you all a very well, uh, warm welcome on behalf of IFARPA in the opening of three-day IFARPA Asia Pacific Regional Meeting 2018 in this beautiful city of Kuala Lumpur. We, the pilots, work in a highly visible industry. People are fascinated by aviation and airlines, and they respect the position and roles of the professional women and men who operate the planes. In the last seven decades, airline safety and security have been at the core of IFARPA's mission, and our legacy of championing air safety carries on. I would like to cherish the fond memories of our predecessors on seizing the opportunity and challenge that they have faced during the formation of ICAO. They are pledged to work together across national boundaries is manifested in the ongoing work and far-reaching contribution of the FARPA's network of dedicated pilot volunteers and staff, working with the industry group and government officials in the highest level of safety and security for every airline operation, cargo and passenger. Asia Pacific is the largest region of the FARPA where MAPA is one of the integral part of it. Its pilots are the ultimate users of the aircraft they operate, the airspace to they navigate, and the airport in which they fly. They are therefore in a unique position to provide an important perspective that is based purely on safety consideration. The new government of Malaysia has come with new vision and goal. And I am confident that the MAPA will be able to play a constructive and progressive role in achieving that vision and goal. It is gratifying to note that the agenda of today's seminar covers a wide range of very interesting items relating to the safety and security of the aviation industry. During the next three days, you will be getting to know more about our different initiatives through our planned activities, where you will be able to join in and get your very own hands on experiences. It is an opportune time to discuss issues of mutual interest with delegates from member countries of the region. These are, of course, not the only thing that are important here to us. You will also be meeting lots of new people and making new friends along the way. I would like to express my gratitude to all the members of MAPA who so generously <coughs> helped us making this event come together smoothly. Especially Captain Farooq, the president of MAPA and his ex -co. We couldn't have done it without it. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Captain Zafar Hassan, Regional Vice President of Asia East, for his continuous effort 
to make this event successful. I would like to take this opportunity to extend our gratitude to the Honorable Minister for sparing time to be here today despite his busy schedule. Thank you all for coming and joining us today. Thank you. Thank you kindly, Captain uh, Ishtia. And uh, finally, from the top brass of IFALPA, we have IFALPA Regional Vice President Asia East, Captain Jaffa Hassan. Everything that I wanted to say has been said by my bosses, but I'm just going to add a little bit more by saying that uh, give a little bit of a uh, point on IPAPA. IPAPA is the Global Federation of Pilot Association, and our basic tenets, basic tenets in IPAPA, is to participate in the global aviation conversation in the promotion of safety and efficiency. We offer our views, our perspectives, and more often than not, we also offer our, our assistance, not only to the member associations, but also to the uh, aviation organiza uh, organizations around the world. So that is the top part. So now I just want to talk a little bit about MAPA. The strength of the Pilot Association depends on its quest for higher professional standards and also for its positive contribution towards membership and the industry. MAPA has been a long time member of the PAPA. Um, as RVP Asia East, I have the privilege to work with MAPA and I come to know a little, a little bit more about MAPA back in 2015. I think I'd just like to say that during that period, MAPA was, uh, together with the company, was facing an issue of uh, company restructuring. So there were many concerns that MAPA had. And MAPA was primarily concerned about the welfare, the well-being, and the future of its members. But I'd like to say now that not only was MAPA concerned about its members, but I saw that MAPA was genuinely concerned about its company, about its airline. So I also saw, and it was evident that at the time, MAPA also offered an open hand in cooperation in helping the company through the initial transition period. So I can say that MAPA as a professional body shows a keen interest in the future in the future and the viability of the industry and also understand the issues and the challenges. And it wants to actively contribute to the success of the aviation industry here in Malaysia. That is what I saw. You know, sometimes labor movements are perceived in the wrong way. We have our positions and we have our demands. But ultimately, as a major stakeholder, we should all understand that the, base, the best way to move forward is to adopt a collaborative and pragmatic balance for all together to achieve uh, harmony to face the challenges which is not small in the future and, and now and in the future. So disputes and disagreements should be resolved through responsible negotiation. 
and sometimes through hard but honest bargaining, a dignified compromise is the only way to find closure. I am happy to see that MAPA is doing well. I am happy to see that we finally managed to convene this conference for MAPA. And I think it is testament to the fact that MAPA is putting efforts into enhancing its professional and technical standing in the community. In closing, I'd just like to say this conference in Kuala Lumpur is a long time coming. <clears throat> And I am confident that it will be productive and it will be successful. I would like to commend MAPA in your efforts and your achievement in the past years. And I hope you can continue to develop your relevance and your effectiveness to become a body that not only is respected by your members, but also by the industry at large. Thank you very much. Thank you very kindly, uh, Captain Jaffa, for your insightful comments, and um, we will all wrap attention. Um, Honourable Minister, pilots and generally people in the aviation industry um, are quite versatile people. So we knew of your really short time with us, and so we delivered four speeches in 18 minutes. And, um, <laughs> Wonderful. I think they, they uh, deserve a round of applause. Eh? Also, <laughs> right. Um, the floor would like to now call upon uh, Captain Farouk Zahir to uh, escort the Honourable Minister of Transport Malaysia, Mr. Anthony Lokzumbo, to deliver his speech. Captain Istia Hossin, FAPA Executive Vice President, Asia Pacific. Captain Jaffa Hassan, FAPA Regional Vice President, Asia East. Captain Farul Zahir, MAPA President. Dr. Sri Sarapuddin, Secretary General of the Ministry of Transport. All the captains, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning to all of you. First of all, I'd like to apologize for being late just now. Uh, I feel very bad whenever I am late for function, even though just for a few minutes. Uh, because at the Ministry of Transport, we are striving right now to increase our one-time performance <coughs> for airlines. And not just for airlines, but across all the transportation sector, be it trains, our MRT, LRT and so forth. I always advocate that punctuality is very important. So that's why that uh, even though I'm late, for one minute I'll make it a point to make it a public apology. So apologize for being late. Sorry for that. <laughs> I wish to thank the Malaysian Airlines Pilots Association, MAPA, for the invitation. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome our foreign guests to our country, Malaysia. Selamat datang, salam sejahtera kepada semua. I also would like to thank FAPA, the International Federation of Airlines Pilots Association, for inviting me to officiate this annual Asia Pacific Regional Meeting here in Kuala Lumpur. I'm happy to get this opportunity to get acquainted more closely with MAPA. IFAPA and everyone else in the aviation community that is present here in this conference today. I am indeed very happy to see an important aviation conference like this, one happening in the heart of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It is happening to see a large group of aviation experts and professionals from various organizations in the Asia Pacific region, from neighboring states from international and local airlines, and even from civil and general aviation organizations in our country. 
I'm also happy to note that several of our own government agencies and organizations are also participating in the forum. It is indeed a very useful forum for all the industry partners to be in. You have put up a very interesting conference agenda. I note the underlying effort to promote education in the sphere of safety, efficiency, and even productivity. This is a good sign. It tells me that the focus is correct. We have to realize that the community of aviation specialists and stakeholders need to get, need to get a good sense of what is important and what is crucial for us and the industry to move forward to meet the ever-challenging arena of the global air travel demands and the aviation market. A balanced and appropriate approach is always necessary. It was reported recently that the 2018 forecast for passenger traffic is growing in a positive direction. We can even expect to see the national passenger traffic growth past the 100 million mark in 2018. This positive growth and demand for air travel is primarily driven by favorable consumer and business sentiment. This is indeed a good sign for the business, for the aviation sector, and for the country as a whole. At this juncture, the question we should ask ourselves here today is what are we going to do to secure this, to secure this opportunity and steer the industry towards success? How do we ride the wave and keep the momentum? How do we put in place sound and viable policies and set the nation's aviation industry forward towards the correct and proper trajectory where growth, productivity, competitiveness, and efficiency is assured? What kind of investment should we make in the national aviation infrastructure to meet the demand in travel and capacity growth? What kind of investment should we also put in towards our human resources? What kind of focus must we put into the development of our people, improving our training qualities and uplifting our standards? A highly trained and motivated workforce is an essential requisite to enhance labor efficiency and productivity. There are indeed many questions, but at the same time, surely there has to be many possibilities to consider. As some of you may well know, I have called for the setting up of an aviation council in the later part of this year. This will call upon the collective efforts and participation of all the major responsible, major and responsible stakeholders in the industry. I am certain that the pilot community can surely contribute, and I would like to invite MAPA to be in the Malaysian Aviation Council. The pilot community is in the front line of the aviation business. It is your expertise and your professionalism that remains crucial to ensure the success of whatever policies and programs installed by airlines and even by government agencies. Your contribution, your dedication, your professionalism, and your continued vigilance to ensure that industry meet the challenges ahead. I'm very heartened to notice the agenda at the conference. The focus on runway safety shows that you have the powers of the safety element of the industry. The human factor sphere of flight operations, which is another crucial element in the industry, is addressed in your FMRS segment, which will be discussed in today's agenda. Your awareness and concerns for the challenges ahead and your care for the well-being of the nation's aviation industry is well noted. It is only logical for me to ask that the pilot committee to step up to the plate and participate in the national and even global aviation conversation. There will be an expectation for you to be a useful and effective partner in the family of stakeholders. Your open and collaborative approach can only be an asset to the industry. Your focus on safety, efficiency, and even productivity shows that you have your finger on the pulse. I look forward to your contributions and your participation in our national efforts, and I wish you success in your endeavors. As a passenger, I have very high regards to your profession. All the pilots here, all the captains in front of me. As a passenger, as a person who takes flights, every time I take a flight, the, mo the, the most important moment that I will always look forward to is the announcement by the pilot, by the captain, before you descend. Because your calm voice will always give me assurance 
that I will land in my destination safely. So your profession has contributed greatly to mankind. Just imagine if without pilot professions, many people would not be able to expand our horizons, many people would not be able to travel from one country to another. That's why I think that your profession has played a very important role in humanity and I'm sure you feel very proud as a profession, as a captain, as a pilot, because you have contributed greatly. And with that, I would like to thank you for your services, for your dedication, and for your professionalism. Because you enable millions of people to travel every day from one place to another. So with that, I would like to declare the AFAPA Asia Pacific Regional Meeting and Safety Seminar officially open in Kuala Lumpur. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'll go to the Minister to appreciate the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Presentation of a memento from uh, MAPA, from Captain uh, Arusahe to the Honorable Minister. And uh, very quickly, um, can we have uh, the Honorable Minister? Oh, we've got another memento from uh, the Executive Vice President of Bakpalpa for the Honorable Minister. Will uh, Captain Farouk please uh, accompany the Honourable Minister down to the foreground for a photo session? We'll very quickly all the 